Art objects are made for aesthetical purposes. They are beautiful on the outside, uh, but on the inside, they often contain a wealth of information about the making process, about their conservation state. And as a museum professional, we are trained to look at the shape and the materials used and the construction, but there are always things that you can't see because you can't look at the inside. There wasn't really a solution that was easy to use or free, uh, so we decided to create one ourselves. In this Nikas funded project, we aim to combine surface scans with CT scans in an interactive visualization to facilitate and make it easier for museum professionals to investigate objects with these new techniques. One example that we uh, studied uh, during this project is a very interesting uh, object that's owned by the Royal Historical Society in Amsterdam and it was collected probably in the 19th century and it consists of two separate parts. It has a cork and the main body it has the shape of a whale and we actually don't know what it was used for or why it was made. So what we ran into is that there is no standardized approach yet for visualizing CT data. So the software I looked into was either too expensive, which is not what you want for a museum, or it was too complicated, which is not nice for a conservator to play around with. So we created our own tool, standalone tool, that's easy to use. So not for a computer scientist, but for someone that's trained to look at objects instead. Well, the imaging techniques we used uh, bring new uh, information on the table because we actually now have a combination of 3D surface scan and CT. So it's easy to load in your data, you have, with a single click of some buttons, the whole system is set up for you and you can play around with your object. So what you now have in a digital space is, we have our three-dimensional object, I can look at it, I can rotate it, but I can also slice it open. Which makes it possible to see the connection uh, of what you see on the outside of an object with what you see on the inside. And by making that easy, free and interactive, I'm sure that we can get much more out of the CT data than we could before. Our ideal situation would be that we could also use these visualizations uh, for a general public. How cool would it be if you see an object in the museum and you can um, scan a QR code with your phone and then actually rotate the object, see it on your phone in all directions and cut it open and see inside. For me it's very important to have this uh, collaboration with uh, CWI because of course in the museum we do have a lot of knowledge on all kinds of technical aspects and uh, art historical context of object but we don't have the knowledge on um, computer science that the CWI has. In the future, we want to see as many people as possible use this. So that's why we also focused on open source and free solutions. So any museum or museum enthusiasts could download this and start playing around with it.